Hey everyone, how are ya? Uh, I waited some people come on, tell you about my day, and uh, what's been happening and what's going to be happening. Um, I had a pretty busy day today, but, but I had a good laugh tonight, which was great. I'll talk about that soon. Um, rain wasn't as bad today, that was good. It was just a little bit. And I went out tonight. Uh, with my daughter, and uh, we took umbrellas, and of course it didn't rain. I tell you, if I'd left the, if I'd left the, the uh, umbrellas at home, it would have teamed down on me, I'm sure of it. Just uh, God waiting to, waiting, waiting to wet me, just waiting to dump a cloud full of rain on me, but uh, didn't tonight, which was good. Okay, some people are coming on, that's wonderful. Had lots, I've, I've had lots to do, a lot of paperwork to do today, which was, um, is always fun, isn't it? You know, everyone loves paperwork. Do more of that. Uh, a few things I'll be talking about tonight. Uh, first, I'll get the uh, the funny stuff over with. My daughter took me out to see a comedian tonight, a, a Scottish fella um, named Daniel Sloss. I think his name is. Um, a bit on the bit on the crude side at times and things like that. But uh, you know, we're Australians, so we can handle that sort of thing. And uh, but it was very very funny. Uh, I must admit, my I was I had tears in my eyes from laughing. He was a very very funny man. Um, and uh, so went out and had a good laugh with my daughter, which was great. You know, it's good to take a break every now and then, uh, recharge the batteries and things like that. And especially if you can laugh about it, which is great. Uh, you know me, I love to laugh. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so that was that was great. I, I really enjoyed that. So, uh, thank you to my daughter for getting those tickets. And we have front row seats too, so um, so it was pretty good. Um, he was very interactive with the crowd, and, and uh, my daughter was doubled over laughing most of the time. So. Uh, I don't think she saw him that much. She was too busy laughing. So, uh, but it was, but it was really, really good. Um, uh, a lot of good comedians over in the UK. Yeah, I like Michael McIntyre and uh, Russell Howard and things like that. Very funny people. Uh, if you if, if if you ever need a laugh, look up the comedians on YouTube. They're they're hilarious. They really, really are. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are we talking about? Okay, um, with the um, the the people not receiving an upline when they. Uh, upgrade and things like that. Programmers are still on it. They're making sure they're getting the exact people to match the exact people to get it right. So it's a bit of a process, but it can be done, obviously, but we've got to make sure it's right because we do not want it wrong. Otherwise, of course, there's more problems later. That's what we want. So you understand fully what's going on, right? The reason we haven't been doing updates uh, like Elaine hasn't is because of this little problem that we're fixing. Um, but that doesn't mean we've stopped. Uh, if anyone cycles, well, people are cycling all the time, um, they get notified. But we haven't stopped the matrix to do this or anything. Everything's still running just fine. Um, the, the money goes into coin payments, goes out of coin payments basically straight away to, to upgrade people. So um, there's just a few people that have missed out sort of thing that, well, that haven't missed out, that it hasn't gone through yet. And as we connect it all, it's all gonna be good again. And you'll find uh, it'll come up on the boards, bang, bang, bang. You'll get your email notification. You know, you've been upgraded, that sort of thing. The people on, obviously, go moving up to level three and level four and level five um, will get their email notifications and their Bitcoin sent to them. So nothing's actually stopped or anything like that. It's just uh, the programmers are fixing those glitches. We're not doing the updates, especially for the people gone up to level two, because we have to make sure it's all cleared up first. Otherwise, we're saying, oh, this person's upgraded, and they haven't, and they're going, they're confused. So that's why we stopped the we stopped the updates. We haven't stopped the program. The program's still running. So uh, I hope that clears that up for some people uh, who weren't too sure what was going on. Um, unfortunately, when, it, when, it, when, when you know a program so well, like obviously I know this one, um, I don't make it completely clear sometimes, uh, and I apologise for that. Um, I, I have to see where you're coming from in terms of the, the way you're seeing it because you don't see it like I see it. Well, not all of you do anyway because uh, you're new or you haven't had time to study it or anything like that. So um, that's not to say the Matrix is still running, has been, it's never stopped. Even even when we had problems back in January, never stopped. We, we, we fix everything live, never take the system down, okay? So um, that's that's what's going on, just so everyone's clear on what's happening. Nothing, people are still getting paid, people are still going, woo, you know. Uh, I think Scott Cleary was one of them, uh, another person who got paid. And he was pretty happy. I hope, you, I hope you're happy, Scott. <laughs> um, so it's going well. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up is uh, 
It'll be in the FAQ as well, um, when I get that into a PDF and, and things like that, is um, how long does it take? That's probably one question a lot of people get asked. Now, this also comes under truth in marketing as well. A lot of people will market things in certain ways. They, they, they do it to get you in or to get you interested. Me, I prefer truth in marketing, uh, where you tell them the blunt truth. Now, if a person is a business person, and, and, and has got a head on their shoulders, like many, many people have, right? Telling them the truth saves a lot of embarrassment for yourself later. So always be honest. You know, if they don't join, they don't join. It's, but you can walk away with a clear conscience that you've told them the facts as you know it. And if you don't know the facts, that's what I'm here for. You know, that's what the admin are here for. You are someone like Juliet. Uh, well, Mandy, they know how the system runs perfectly, how long it takes and all that. How long it takes is a very open-ended question, you know. I always answer back, and I'm not being flippant, how long is a piece of string? No idea. Um, how long it takes? If you get one or two people joining a day, it takes a while, okay? It's the same as if you owned a coffee shop and you have one or two customers a day, you're not really going to turn much of a profit, but if everyone turns up, on the same day, guess what happens? Kabang, you know, it's just it. You know, you can't give a definite time. You can't say this will happen in two weeks because it's not an investment. I'm not investing your money. I'm not trading your money. I'm not using mining materials, nothing like that. It's not one of those sort of programs. It's not a get rich quick scheme. This is something that we're only at the start of and it's adding at the base element of the things I'll be bringing in to enhance Bitcoin Ascension and things like that, not leading you away to anything else. That's a solemn promise. I am not going to take you somewhere else and just forget Bitcoin Ascension. It's always going to be Bitcoin Ascension, but I want Bitcoin Ascension to be huge. You've heard my, my some of my plans in terms of maybe one, in, one day being able to turn Bitcoin Ascension into having a foundation as well to be able to help um, uh, emergency victims or, or just the occasional uh, charity that we want to help and, and things like that. Um, this is how big I want it, and this is how long I want it to run. I want it to run for years. I want us to become an establishment, you know. Um, so when you're marketing to people and they ask you how long it takes, be honest. Well, let's see, if we all work together as a team, um, it doesn't take nearly as long as is if we sit there and wait for everyone else to do it. Because <laughs> guess what? Nothing really happens when everyone sits around and waits for everyone else to do it. Um, so uh, the only thing that grows when something, something like that happens is a grass fire. If no one does anything to stop it, it'll, it'll grow, <laughs> but not for, not for good reasons. So um, that's why we work together as a team. That's why I designed it with one link. That way, if you see someone else's ad and someone's asked for info, you can jump right in and say, hey, this is how Bitcoin Ascension works. Come, I'll show you the whole ropes. You're not stealing anyone. All you're doing is helping. This is a good thing. This stops the greed. This is what teamwork is all about. And, and, and this is how we, that's why I always talk about we. I don't, I, yes, I'm the owner. I don't see myself as someone up the top. I'm down there with you. I want to, you know, I'm advertising, I'm uh, talking to people, and, and I'm trying to make everything run as smoothly as I can so we have a big and bright future, just so you understand. So my recommendation is when you're marketing anything, but in particular Bitcoin Ascension, because we're the best, be honest. Be totally honest. If you do not know the answer to the question, you tell the person, I don't know the answer to that question, let me go find out. Or I'll put you in a chat with Ivan and you can ask him yourself and you'll get it straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, not that I nag. But uh, yeah, that's that's what you're going to do. Be honest. This is, this is this is supposed to be fun and 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 developing ourselves to, to have a real future. Not a, a five minute future sort of thing where I've made a quick 600 bucks or a quick thousand bucks, which is great when you're trying to pay bills. You know, I've made this. This is something that's gonna not change my wallet for a minute. This is something that's gonna change your life for years to come. And it can be done. I know how to do it and I'm doing it, you know. So you don't just have to believe in me. You don't have to believe in Bitcoin Ascension, as, you know, just Bitcoin Ascension. You have to believe in yourself. What do you want to accomplish? It's up to you. It really, really is all in your hands. But you're never, ever alone, okay? You're never alone. You've always got someone here to back you up. There's always someone here. 
You know, someone asks the questions in the Facebook group page, bang. Sometimes they don't always give the right answer because they don't understand the question. But the beautiful thing is there's, there's a ton of people in there trying to help, you know, and it gets sorted in the end. So, so that's all good. But, yeah, keep it honest, you know, and um, as I said, once, once the better PDFs come in, when I'll get those PDFs out and uh, the videos and things like that, it's going to answer a lot of those questions for you, okay? So until I can get those out to you, because it takes a bit of writing and a bit of preparing to make sure it's all right so it's clear, but you can't make the answer so long that it's like reading Lord of the Rings. You know, not, it's not as easy as you think it is. And me, I can, like I talk, I can write for miles. So <laughs> uh, ask my teachers when I had to do creative essays. It was more like a, a book instead of just an essay. Um, but they love reading them. So, <laughs> so they didn't mark me down, thank God. But, um, but I digress. Yeah, keep it honest, work together as a group, and make the decision of where you want your future to be, okay? As I said, if you, I know entrepreneurs, and this was brought up last night when I was talking about focus and, and, and sticking with something and not chasing the shiny objects that people like to chase because they like to make money right this second um, and then end up usually getting hurt later, which is a horrible thing. And even with some companies, uh, one I, I belong to, sort of thing which I thought would be rock solid, it sort of let me down, and, it, and it's a real downer when that happens, and, and it's very upsetting. Um, that's why I created this, because I didn't want people getting upset anymore. I wanted people to have something that could wake up in the morning and know it's still going to be here, okay, and, and things like that. So, And I'm always developing. I'm always going to make this better, and I'm always going to make this so it benefits you, not me, not just me. I mean, it benefit me as well, obviously, but it benefits you. It can't just benefit the owner. You have to think of the people, the members, you know, they're you, as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't want someone doing this to me, because it's happened that many times, so I'm not going to do it to you. You know, it's, it seems like common sense, but some, a lot of people don't seem to grasp it for some reason. But it's obvious when you, when you really look at it. You know, work together. There's millions of us in the world who really, really want to work together. So let's let them see it. I'm going to start putting ads up on my wall. I, I, I haven't been because I've been doing a lot of stuff, but and it's an excuse, sort of, but so many people tag me and post, I've got nothing but Bitcoin Ascension on my wall. <laughs> um, but I'll be placing my own ads, and um, that'll be the basis for one of my competitions as well. And I had another massive idea for a competition. I can't launch it yet, but it's going to be an, an awesome competition, a very big competition, and I'm going to talk about it with uh, Tom on uh, Thursday, I think, if not, if, if, if not tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be really, really big, and it's going to be something you'll want to market big time. So uh, I may even do a video on this competition. That's how big it's going to be, but I, I need to get some things in place first. But it's very, very exciting, and, um, and I love it. So um, I'm also going to talk to uh, some big leaders tomorrow as well. And my time tomorrow, it's going to be their daytime, I think, to do in the US. But uh, yeah, so all that's going well. So I hope you're clear on what's happening. Matrix is still running just fine. We're, we're fixing up the little glitches that you get in these programs um, and, and things like that. But nothing's stopped. So uh, so don't stop. <laughs> don't stop and wait. Get stuck into it. Um, because this is your future, not just mine. This is all of our future. So um, work together. Work as a group, right? To be honest, when I when I advertise, I advertise on my timeline, usually. I mean, I've got some other things in the background, like the funnels and things like that. But on Facebook itself, when I advertise, timeline. And I know a lot of people say, well, my family and my friends give me a hard time about it. Break out of that cycle straight away, guys. Because no one who was ever successful let their friends and family stop them being successful. Right? They kept going. That's how they were successful. Because if you do listen to your friends and family who are only thinking what they think is the best for you, they will always hold you back to where they are, okay? Because it's safer there, okay, as far as they're concerned. That's their truth. They're not lying to you. It's their truth, okay? But you have to believe in yourself so you can, um, you know, be successful in what the way you want to do. So if you do advertise on your wall and you get a friend on there saying, oh, these things never work, you know, they're not really being a much of a friend, are they? You know, if they're going to do it publicly. If they're a real friend, they go to you privately, are you sure this is going to work? You know, or well, these things never work. You, they, don't, they shouldn't be putting it on your posts. So I would be 
quite blunt back to them, not on the post, mind you, in private, you know, because that's where it belongs, and, and, and set them straight. The reason I know this should be done this way is because it's happened to me. I had family, I had friends, oh, what are you doing this stuff for? It never works. Go out and get a normal nine to five and do it like everyone else does, because that's safe, right? But you'll never succeed. You know, you, you'll just exist from week to week. You won't really live. All these dreams you have will always just be dreams if you keep listening to family and friends who are stuck in the grind. As I said, they're not bad people. They care about you. That's why they comment, right? But it's up to you as a person who wants to succeed to choose not to listen to them and ask them in the nicest possible way, this is what I choose to do. You can either support me or you can ignore me. That's their choice. It's your Facebook. They don't actually have the right to stop you doing anything. Okay? So, um, you know, believe in yourself. And you've got, you know, thousands of people here waiting to back you up. That's what's so good about it. Okay? So there's my advice for the day and, and the running of things. Um, so that's happening. Uh, let's see, what else, what else is happening? Uh, I'll get on to Tom tomorrow because I don't know if he's put up a post about the winners. Um, I've got to wait until he says who his winners are so I can decide who, who my consolation winner is for participating in the $500 giveaway. Um, so I'll get on to him. Um, give, me, give me the thumbs up if you want me to smack him in the head because he hasn't done the post yet. Uh, unless he's done the post and then he can smack me in the head. So um, give me some likes and you know I'll go around and beat him up tomorrow uh, in the morning. There we go. Here comes that. This is the like. See, every time I mention that, I get so many likes come popping up. It's, it's really scary, actually. Poor Tom, he's going to have to wear a helmet. So, and I can see the people who are doing the likes too, so I know who you are. So, uh, cheeky buggers. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, this is the sort of fun we have here, okay? You know, take the business seriously, but have fun doing it. That there's, there's my advice to you. And don't let everyone else rule you, you know, because they're too scared to, to take a chance themselves, okay? Believe in yourself and you'll succeed. That's what I was talking about last night with, 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 with these great entrepreneurs. I didn't even say that right, entrepreneurs. There we go. Like, like Bill Gates and, and, and Richard Branson. They're, they're great examples, I think, that everyone knows about. So that's why I talk about them so much. But what they had to push through to get to where they got to. And they had family and friends holding them back as well. Because their family and friends care about them and they think it's safe. But um, it's not, really. So um, it's, it's not safe to have a 9 to 5 these days. Because I know a lot of people who have a 9 to 5, well, had a 9 to 5, they lost their job. It wasn't their fault. There's nothing they've done wrong. The company didn't last, budget cuts, tax cuts, all that sort of thing happens. And you lose your job anyway. So there's no real safety. There's no longer a job where you get 50 years at a job and then retire. You know, very hard to get that sort of thing. I mean, you can have a career, of course, and things like that. Then you wouldn't be here in the first place. Um, uh, but... Uh, how many people do you know of your life who had a, you know, were good at their job and everything like that, but lost it, you know, because cuts, you know, or we're moving or, or whatever. I, I, was, I worked in a warehouse once, a medical warehouse, loved doing the job, it was great. Um, but then they moved everything down to Sydney. I got offered the job down there, but I wasn't going to take my kids down to Sydney, you know. I was happy up here in Brisbane, you know, but I lost my job doing nothing wrong. So I don't see where the safety is in that. That's why I've been looking at well, when I started looking at online stuff. Now, that's, it can be just as dodgy sometimes, um, and you've got to do your due diligence. But, you know, I, I think I've created something here where people can rely on it, and because it's only one link, everyone's working together. No one's working independently of each other because everyone benefits everyone. The people you help get through this come in and they help you. And it's natural. It's, it's not something they have to do by choice. It's just something they do. Um, that's it. it, it as I said, it, it, it's pretty common sense. But when you've been burned so many times over the years, and everyone's got that, you know, everyone tells you, oh, I've been burned so many times. You know, guys, everyone here has been burned so many times. It's ridiculous. You know, we're, we're all fire victims, you know. And, and, and um, I'm just trying to stop the rot. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help people become successful. And the things I've got planned for this year, once, I've, once we've got the following in, I can, I can in, implement these things and it, it's going to blow your mind. But we need the following in. We need the people coming in. Simple as that. We all succeed for that. And then I can enhance the program. But you can only, a, a good company or a good business or, or program 
will only make enhancements at the right time. They don't just rush it all in at once. It's got to be done at the right time to have the maximum impact, which means the maximum benefit for you guys. Okay, that's why I do what I do. You know, that's why I can't tell you what I'm doing uh, with, with, with the enhancements because I've got people breathing down my neck waiting to copy me. So, um, and I've, I have to protect my program and I have to protect you guys because I don't want you guys screwed over yet again. You know, I'm, I'm sure doing everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'll support you, you support me, and guess what? We succeed. Simple as that. So uh, in terms of other things, uh, yeah, as soon as, as soon as the programmers get back to me, because I don't, as I said, I'm not sitting in their lap, uh, get back to me that they've got that done. Uh, we've got the overpayments that were made that we'll, we'll recoup, and, um, and and everything will just flash along as normal. But as I said, the, the, the system hasn't isn't being taken offline at any time. It'll all be done live. Um, so you guys don't miss out on anything. So uh, I think Katie put out another um, update on um, uh, a health check on your account and things like that. That's just to get you to check your account. If you're smart, guys, here's another tip for you, a really good tip for you. When you are registering or, or when you are using a Bitcoin address, put it in your notes, either on your phone or, or on your computer, on your notepad or in a dock and keep that Bitcoin address. So if it does come up with Katie saying yours doesn't look, may not be healthy, may, may, may not be right, you just go to your docs and go, yep, yeah, no, she's all good. And, you, and you're done. Okay? Always remember your Bitcoin address. I think it's very, very important. That way you can check it yourself. Okay? And you've always got it handy. It takes three seconds to cut and paste it and just put it in the notepad and then save it under, under my Bitcoin addresses or something like that. And it's always there. And that way you can always check. That's, that's, that's probably one of the best bit of advice I can give you when it, when it comes to things like Bitcoin. Uh, I was talking to Angela Cunningham, uh, the admin uh, lady I put on. Uh, Angela's really, really cool. She helped me with putting Bitcoin stuff together. So she's, um, we were talking yesterday for about an hour and a half um, about what we wanted to um, uh, present as, just on Bitcoin itself, not Bitcoin Ascension so much, but, um, but Bitcoin itself to educate people on Bitcoin. And the things we want to provide and things like that. So I'll even might even do a seminar, just well, not a seminar, but a webinar on on, on Bitcoin itself, um, so people can understand what it is and why it's not a big scary thing. Um, once you get used to it, it's it's easy as anything else. Actually, I find it actually easier than running my bank account. <laughs> so, um, and that's what we want to present it as, sort of thing, in layman's terms, with enough technical technical stuff in there to un so they can understand, but. But making it easy enough for them to, to see that it's not a very scary thing. If I if I actually laid out what a bank account was all about, uh, your, your normal bank and a bank account all about and what it does and all that sort of thing, you'd be confused as hell, believe me. Um, I've read through some of that stuff and I, I, I can't follow it, you know. So I want to make Bitcoin, you know, good, uh, but with layman's terms, but with all the facts about it. So uh, it's not so scary and, and people have all the right information. Uh, factual information is everything to me. I don't act on anything unless I have the facts. Um, I, I always have faith in people and things like that, but when I'm trying to prove something, got to have the facts. Um, don't just take other people's fear as gospel, you know, don't be a sheep that way. Check out for yourself, all right? So if someone's, uh, I've, I've had a few, a couple of people since we opened sort of thing, trying to put, put fear into people and things like that. And I only know who these people are because, again, saw the screenshots of it and things like that. And so I know who they were and what they were saying, and I was able to confront them about it because I had the facts, you know. And and what they I found that two of them were from other programs sent by the other programs to try and undermine this one because there were too many happy people here, and they, they weren't over there. And people always try and lead you away with with the next best thing. They always will. And I'm not saying don't be don't don't look at other things. Obviously, you know, some people, you know, have got regular money coming in, that's fine, and some of us don't. So we're always looking for something. But do your due diligence. Don't just be a sheep, right? Don't listen to all the hype and things like that saying, look, I've, I've made this much money and thing. Check it out for yourself and be sure, okay? You know, so, and, and, and really think to yourself, can I do that? Okay, this person's doing that, but they're a great market. Can I do the same thing? Because you've got you to copy what they're doing to make the sort of money they're making. You know, I, that's what I tried to take out of this. I wanted to make everyone equal. That's all I wanted to do. You know, the strong help the weak, so to speak, and, and, and the weak become stronger, so they support the strong, strong. And that way, in the end, everyone's strong. Okay? 
This is what I'm trying to achieve. It's not just making money, it's developing you as people as well, so you become stronger, not just in business, but in life. So you can have a good one. That's all I want. You know, it, it sounds like a huge task, but I don't care if it takes me the rest of my life. I want to help as many people as I can. And I've got a whole batch of people here who want the same thing. It's not a hard thing to actually be nice and actually want to do things for other people. There's billions of us in the world who want to do that, because if there weren't, the world would be an anarchy, and it's not. So there's more good people than there are shifty people. So don't focus on these shifty people sending you these bogus ads and, 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 and their fake accounts and things like that. Concentrate on the good people and the positive stuff and see how much your life changes even before you've made a cent. Okay? There you go. There's me preaching again, but I, I care about you guys that much. And I'm so passionate about not just Bitcoin Ascension, but about you guys reaching your full potential and really realizing just how fantastic you are that that you know I, I i can drone on a bit and i and i and i don't apologize for it because i really believe in what i'm talking about i'm, I'm not a great guru or a sage or any of the great sage or anything like that i'm just a common guy who just really wants to help people that's all i am I'm, 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 I'm as special as you guys. So if you guys are special, I'm special. And if you guys aren't special, then I'm not special. I'm the same as you. And I'm just trying to do something about it. That's all. That's all it is. And I've got no formal education in terms of like university degrees or anything like that. I'm just a guy who wants to change the world. That's it, you know. Um, and, and I'll continue to do that every day. Every single day you will have me trying to help, okay? So if you want to help back, perfect. And we can do this, okay? I'll only ever work in the best interest of you guys. And um, a lot of people don't understand that when, they, when, when I say I put other people before me. They don't get it because they haven't experienced it before. Yeah, you know, especially in business online, okay? So it takes them a while to get used to someone like me because I'm a weirdo, all right? I'm very, very strange, which is a sad thing. I shouldn't be strange. I should be as common as, you know, common as the grass on the ground because um, everyone should be doing this and uh, and there's so many people out there who spend so much energy trying to do it the other way and I, why spend less energy and just be good it's easy <laughs> it's just it's just normal it's natural um, give into it be good come to the good side and um, and let's grow Bitcoin Ascension and, um, and let's grow ourselves as people and as a team and uh, show the, the good we can do in the world and uh, and, uh, you know, open our minds. That's what you've got to do. You've got to open your mind. You're never too old to open your mind. You know, I know 80-year-olds who are opening their mind for the first time in a long time. And they're so much happier because of it, okay? It's sort of like karma in a sense. What you put out it comes back. And, and it does. After a while, it doesn't do it straight away. And you don't do it for that reason. But the, 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 the good sense of feeling you get when you're helping someone um, is, is, is overwhelming. And then, the, you know, things like money and the dreams come later. But get into a habit of doing good things and habitually the good things will happen back at you, okay? There you go. There's Ivan for the day. Peace, you know, and all that. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I'll let you know about the competitions and um, another competition I'll be doing very, very shortly. Because as Tom's announced his and we've done that, I'll be doing another competition because uh, we like to do competitions and promotions. Um, and I'm working on a really, really big one, which is really, really exciting, but I need a bit of money <laughs> to be able to do it because it's going to be huge. It's not going to be 100 or 200. I want to do something really, really big. So, um, so that's exciting. So let's, <coughs> sorry, let's get the people in, let's get the following in, let's get the members in, let's build this up really, really big and nice and juicy so I can bring these enhancements in so you guys can really, really explode. Uh, with your lives it's a lot sooner than you think okay that's the only hint I can give you to it'll happen a lot sooner than you think but we all got to work together that's the only provide pardon me it's the only proviso as I said if you don't want to advertise you comment okay simple as that it's it's not a rule it's just being common sense okay yeah I, I've seen people advertise things all the time uh, and things like that. And if you don't want to advertise this because you're advertising other things, that's fine too. Make comments on the other other posts. Yep, this is fantastic. That's all you got to do. 
And I'm going to start putting posts on my timeline too. I expect to see a lot of comments on them because I'm the owner and people should follow me. So, mm. uh, <laughs> but I've got a lot, I've got a bit of a following now on Facebook, which is great, and uh, and they're the right kind of people. And uh, so the com more comments you make on your timeline, if you post something on your timeline, and the more comments you get, the more it gets opened up on Facebook groups. Not so much. You know those groups. Most of those people are in there just to sell their own thing. They're not really looking at other people. So some do but not everyone. Um, but if you post on your timeline, then it opens up to all your friends, and then all the people that comment, it opens up to their friends, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why the more comments you have, the more Facebook opens it up to people, okay? And don't listen to those family and friends that say, oh, you sure what you're doing? You shouldn't do it, really. You know, don't listen to that, okay? Be you. You don't have to be them. You have to be you, okay? It's like my son's video, be you. So, um, uh, yeah. That's it. All right. Love you all. Sorry I've gone on for a bit tonight, but I, I really wanted to make it clear because I'm really trying to educate you on, on how you can make your life better. Okay? And um, so, yeah, that's it. Love you all. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. More updates and, and, and things like that. And I know they're supposed to be post today, but they'll be, they'll be tomorrow now because I had so much else on today. But they're getting there. Don't worry. Um, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.